The countdown started. Now all we have to do is keep an eye on Spirit Marcy. Let's see how long it takes her to remember why she volunteered to be here. We'll do. Intuition, a tool we can use when waking up in an unfamiliar, threatening place. Two souls, one room, and a mysterious countdown. Someone observes them. What did they do to get stuck in this situation? How are they connected? You'll have to wait and watch in your own monitor. Throughout this lecture, I ask you to open your mind and see what will unfold in this room on floor 13. 18 minutes. What? There's a timer on the wall. It's counting down. That's a good sign. Here, I think I can reach the scissors back here. Why would whoever put us in here give us scissors? No clue. Do you remember how we got here? No, all I remember is this date. November 11th, 2027. I, I can only remember waking up with my boyfriend. It's a big day. Sam, it's too early. Fine. More coffee for me. Babe, you're so clumsy. Yeah, I guess I am. Hey, you said very specifically you wanted at least an hour to get ready in the morning. You looked me in the eye and you told me that. Uh, okay, um, could you make me another cup of coffee? I'll be ready in 15. <laughs> of course. very well might have the same bed head you had this morning. Stop it, Sam. You walk in, looking all professional, and then you'll take off your hat. They'll realize the only brush you know how to use is the one you paint. Sam. Like, you realize I got you up this morning so you'd have time to dress... presentable. I can't remember what happened the rest of the afternoon. I don't think it was No, no, he, he's a sweet guy. He still kind of seems like a jerk to me. He's good to me. Most of the time. I mean, his dad was drunk and his mom was verbally abusive, so he had it rough growing up. I'm cut loose. Oh. Thanks. You better get out of here soon. Interesting to see them interact. Yes. Spirit Marcy must unknowingly have seeked help from them. Look, we are close now. She may reach it. Let us out of here! What do you even want? Relax, let's just think. Deja vu. Weird. Rope, scissors, the, the countdown. 
This has to be a game. We're the players, right? I think we just need to find a key to open the door. I think it's more complicated than that. Wait, what's that shiny thing around your neck? I didn't even realize I still had it on. I guess it's just that simple. Spirit guides, of course. Yes. Congrats on your consistent, intentional meditation. It's been paying off. However, this astral room is looking a bit rough. You've been going through it, huh? This place reflects your own life. It resides at the very top of your mind, somewhere within the subconscious. Marcy, why don't you take another look at the room? Your intentions were clear. We've recorded everything and given you all the tools you need. That passerby spirit helped, too. Yes. You must take the visual experience of this room back to apply the knowledge to your life. Best of luck on the rest of your journey. But I, I- No need to speak, spirit. We know all. We've got your back. Safe travels. Cut ties and come back soon. The astral realm is entered through the conscious mind. Souls find themselves in the dreamlike rooms through deep meditation. Their spirits can meet other spirits and discover answers to life. It is a foreign place for most of us, but for those like Marcy, it is a powerful tool that can be used to cut off the demons in their lives. It is comforting to know that we have unseen spirits watching over us, taking notes, and ensuring we find our way in life. At least we do here on floor 13.